describing Galileo in three words, I'd have to say intelligent, independent, and unicorn. I also wish that people knew that, you know, I'm, I'm in a way just like them. You know, I have this, I've dealt with the same insecurities and, and failures and hard work and all of that just like any other rider. I started riding when I was about seven years old, only because I realized that unicorns didn't exist. I first loved unicorns, but when I was about four, I saw horses out in a pasture, and I said to myself, well, those unicorns don't have horns, but I absolutely have to get to know that creature. Hi, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. I've wanted to be a trainer basically my whole life. I wanted to find a career that I could have working with horses, and being a trainer just kind of made sense. I think the biggest misconception of dressage is uh, that it comes from force, that the horse is coerced to uh, be a slave. And that might be true, and I'm sure it is true in, for a lot of people and in this industry, you know, there are rotten eggs in every sport, but um, it doesn't have to be true. And that, those aren't my beliefs. I want my horse to be my partner and not my slave. The most essential part in training a young horse is um, to not rush, to go slow. Every horse, just like every person, learns differently. And um, some horses need more time to understand a concept. And some t horses need more time to just physically develop. The one thing that I repeat the most often, I think, in lessons with my students is give. Give the rein, give the horse time to understand, give the horse positive reinforcement, give the horse a treat, but that's, that's probably the one thing I repeat the most, the word give. The thing that I am the most proud of as a rider and a trainer is that my horses are, you know, schooling the upper levels, but they live outside all the time, like all the time. I never have the need to bring my horse in a stall, unless maybe I'm dealing with an injury or something like that. Um, but my horses live outside all the time. They're very happy and safe and sound mentally and physically. Listen to the horse instead of trying to follow some kind of the, the rules in training. There are no rules really. You have to go at the horse's speed and do basically what the horse wants to do. I want my horse to be my partner and not my slave.